Well, this is my, my annual show, which would have been in May, but because of the virus, we've had to postpone it. And Carla has been really ingenious about setting it up so that it has gotten the perfect amount of exposure. We had, you know, I had everything ready by the end of May. So the paintings were all done, and then they sat there and sat there and sat there. So we took the pictures, and she just had them all up online, and she was showing them to special clients. And then she put everything on the website in the middle of August. So we had, and we scheduled the show to start in September. So by the time the show was opening, people had seen little snips and snaps of it all over the place, and she started getting calls, and people wanted to come in. So <coughs> it has really, really worked. And it's been a very, so far it's been a really great show for me. Um, but this is a, a year's worth of work. And as probably everybody that's watching this knows, I've been doing these grass paintings for about 20, 15 years. And some people will go, oh no, not that stuff again. But I keep trying to find new things. I keep seeing new, new kinds of challenges in the geometries. But I also, wanted to turn, last year I turned my gaze away from um, the water so much and started looking at the, the forest and trees. And I've continued to do that in a few pieces in this show. But I'm also, I still love doing it. I love doing the, looking at the negative spaces and, and using lots of color and um, just, it's play. Oh, but there's some that I've really, really, really had fun doing. And the one over here by your shoulder called um, Purple Rain, an um, homage to Prince. And, but it's about, uh, it's about marks. It's about making all these different kinds of strokes that build into a geometry. And then it's very loose and free in the way the marks are made. So I'm, I've been really exploring that a lot. And then these guys, that's like a bird's eye view. And they're both from the Adkins Arboretum, which I love, and I'm on their art committee there. Uh, so I go there pretty often. And lately, their, their marsh that they have underneath that long walkway has been full of water for years. It's been really low, because they wanted to turn it into a wetland instead of a pond. And now it's back to being a pond in spite of them, because we've had so much water. But it's been great to play with because this is like, it was a perfect mirror. And the color, the trees had just started to change. And the water was so calm and reflected so perfectly. And with the high horizon, I just had such fun with that. And then just a few little leaves, just, you know, somebody went like that with the leaves. And I just thought, oh, looks like an omen. So <laughs> let's get out of town. <laughs> and then this one is it's another it's like a bird's eye view of the of that marsh and um but this time the, the the cloud was captured in it and it was just such an interesting perspective and so that i started looking at different perspectives a little bit more for this one for this show but i keep coming back to water even though even though i go up and you know, I'll do trees, and I love doing the masses of color and trees and the, the contrasting colors of the, of the um, trunks. I still am looking at, at it as a wall of color and thinking kind of like it's a color field. And that's been, that's totally different from the, all the linear ones. So that's been an, an exploration in making marks that are not lines. I've been doing some, I have a, a, a couple of commissions right now, doing a really big commission for a restaurant, and they really wanted me to play. They wanted me to do whatever I wanted. They, it was the perfect, the perfect commission is when they say, I just like a palette, a cool palette, and I want it this size, and it can do anything you want. And that's just so liberating because a lot of the time people want a specific place or they want a specific you know item in it or you know it has to be more personal um, when you get the 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 notice that you can just knock yourself out and do whatever you want that's the best thing because you feel supported and trusted so the ones that i'm doing for the restaurant for the for the new 
watershed restaurant are really, really exciting to me. And then I'm doing a, a, a really large commission for a, a couple in Florida, and they're, they're collectors of mine, and they wanted something really different. And I said, I know what I want to do. It's a painting I've wanted to do for a long time, but it's not exactly like all the other ones, so it's not anything like the ones you have. Is that okay? And they went, well, I don't know. So I did a sketch. I did a color sketch, and they really liked it. So they let me just go with it. And it's huge. It's 48 by 66, and it's a triptych, and it's just so much fun. I'm loving it. So Carla has asked that anybody who's interested in looking at the show um, make an appointment. And she's happy to meet you anytime, and mostly, mostly. And you'll come, and you, you have to wear a mask, and you have to come one at a time, or I don't know if it's just one, maybe one couple at a time. But um, to really protect Carla and to protect clients, um, it's better that we don't have a, a gallery full of people. And what we've both found is that because you're here all by yourself, it's like it's even more special than if you're here with a crowd. And so people can take their time. And that's the nicest thing about doing it this way. And plus, it's in some ways, it's, it's more trouble because you have to keep coming in. But you're coming in for a reason, and you're not sitting here all day waiting for somebody to come in. So it's kind of nice in that way. And it, it, this may be the future. I don't know.